Hello everyone, it's me once again. So today I'm going to show you the software side of Tagoy Connected 2020. What makes this unique to the rest of the Android Wear, uh, Google Wear, should we say, and what sort of features it has that makes it unique as a Tagoy brand. All right, to start with, if we scroll from top to bottom, you'll see all the menus popping up in a second. So we got a standard Google Wear um, format here. So the all the menus, the flight mode, power saving and brightness settings and also Google Pay which is good for this um, smartwatch lock the screen and so on and if we click on the settings button you'll be able to scroll up and down which is good for Tag Heuer I mean I'm sure a lot of smartwatch who has this uh, dial actually will be able to scroll up and down and if you go to the system you'll be able to see the uh, battery life but mainly I want to show you the about side so what sort of software so it's a model of Tag Heuer device name and the version if you type on that one you'll be able to see that it's a Wear OS by Google 2.17 okay now so that's top to bottom scroll if we go from left to right we'll have the good morning and all the sort of address and so on and then if you go from bottom to top no notification standard pretty much and um, right to left you'll be able to see all these sort of workouts you can actually set this up on the Wear OS actually up to five screens and so on so what makes it unique for Tag Heuer is that they first of all obviously they have their own watch face which is good that no other Android phone so Android smartwatch should have so if we actually click on it then you'll be able to see like this is orbital okay and then you can go to the timekeeping which is quite cool um, the Hoya 01C I actually made it red so that it will be like a Kylo Ren kind of feel which is quite cool goes well with the black uh, carbon and the Hoya 02 which is my favorite as you can see and um, that's pretty much it I think so that, that's those are the watch face that you can have now if you click on the top but like, top right you'll be able to get all this Tag Heuer personalized um, workout scheme so you could do golf you need to download the golf Tag Heuer app and what it does is automatically locates the local sort of um, golf course around your area and you'll be able to um, Play that golf course which is quite clever I haven't actually tried it yet but it sounds really cool um, and if you go back so golf you could do running cycling walking uh, fitness and others which is a heart monitoring and so on so this in the background is actually monitoring my heart which is really cool and you could do settings and so on so that's that and if we go back um, if we click on the bottom right button on it you'll be able to do the uh, time clock uh, check and so on okay so you could what, what's quite interesting on this one is that you can do the second measurement as well so you can see the second dial coming in and if you want to stop you stop on the top right and if you want to reset top uh, sorry bottom right and you're good to go so that makes it unique for Tag Heuer okay so the rest is pretty much the same actually so if you press on this central you'll be able to scroll up and down so I got all my own customized preferable apps that are installed and um, that's pretty much it actually so that makes the Tag Heuer's uh, 2020 connected uh, all scrolling all overall or what sort of software what sort of app and what makes it unique for Tag Heuer Connected 2020. So one of the things when I go to a meeting is that I have a bit of a habit of raising my hand like this way and then listening to what the client is trying to say because I really want to focus on what this person is saying. And during that, I can see of an eye contact where a client is actually focusing on what sort of um, watch I'm wearing. And it's sort of like a thing in central London, I would say, where uh, people look at your shoes because they want to know how tidy you look. But also, the um, I think watch of what you wear actually pretty much sums up. And I don't want to be one of those 
uh, guys who look like a smirk who spends a lot of money on watch or probably rips off um, our client because uh, we're making tons of money but sort of like a modest but a trendy kind of feel and I think that's where the Tag Heuer Connected 2020 comes in because you're basically showing to the client that you're wearing a smartwatch and I'm sure they're going to look up uh, they know that Tag Heuer is a very trendy brand and um, the price is really good actually for um, for smartwatch, it's probably one of the most expensive uh, range, um, but still, it does tell a lot of things about you. And I think Tag Heuer Connected 2020 actually sums up a lot about where I am and what I'm trying to achieve and what I like. And that's what uh, one of the things I like about this brilliant watch. I mean, look at it. It just looks so nice on my wrist. Goes along with my uh, ring, my wedding ring, and um, I mean, with my suit as well. So. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this whole thing and um, more than happy to answer to any of the queries you guys have at the moment, but I, I'm pretty sure it's tr pretty straightforward, but um, if you have any, let me know. Uh, the battery life is not that bad actually, I deliberately put it on to the not the battery safe mode and it seems to last for um, about full working hours. Um, what I mean by working hours is about from 8 till five or six uh, p.m. every day. As long as that's actually fully batteried and fully functioning, I'm very happy. All I need to do is come back home and just need to charge it. And the very next day, I just wake up with a 100% charge, take it with me to the office and so on. So anyway, so that's my input. That's my thoughts on the Tag Heuer Connected 2020. I hope you guys liked it. But if you have any questions, please do comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is LJP Tech, all the best. Bye-bye.